on this episode, I talk sports cards. Let's go. This is Dave, and welcome to the SVA Card Collectors Podcast. What is up? What is going on, everyone? Dave at SVA Card Collectors. Yes, it's been a while. Suck it up, buttercup. Um, So, we've had a presidential election that um, is, I guess, technically still going on. It looks like Biden uh, will be the winner, winner, chicken dinner. Uh, Trump is still suing away and uh, probably has like a, I would say, three or four Hail Mary attempts, you know something like that of a chance uh, of somehow flipping it. Um, Don't see that happening, but you never know. It is 2020. So a lot of stuff going on. Football. um, Buffalo looked like it was pulling away, um, playing well. And Arizona stopped them. Stop them in their tracks, and the Dolphins keep winning. So now it looks like the AFC East is going to be between the Bills and the Dolphins. The Patriots still winning. Somehow they're getting in there. Nobody likes it. Nobody likes it at all. But whatever. It is what it is. No matter what, the Patriots, those bastards always find a way. Um, Breeze broke, you know, cracked ribs, and he still played. Um, I think that. You know, could hurt the Saints' chances of getting, uh, uh, doing more than what um, I think Super Bowl aspirations for them. But um, yeah, you got you got a lot of things going on. Uh, I think it's very interesting. Um, football cards are doing well. Uh, those rookie cards are doing well. Tua from the Dolphins, Herbert from the Chargers, uh, Burrow for the Bengals, all doing well. Um, I'm sure I'm missing a slew of other guys, um, but. But still, they they um, they're doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. There was also a Dallas card show this weekend, so a lot of people having fun, buying some cards. Ugh, just embarrassing. I get em, I, I get embarrassed because I see kids spend more money than me on cards. They're like, "This is flip life, yo," and I just I can't hang. Can't, can't hang. Um. Right now, you have some stuff that's being released. I think yesterday, I don't know, it depends on when this, I, you know, release this, but it's the 17th. You have the WNBA premium box set um, where everybody and their mother is going after Sabrina Iannosco, Iannusco. Um, she was played for Oregon and now she's uh, on New York Liberty. Um, yeah, she's. Everybody and their mother are now buying WNBA uh, prison boxes um, because of this this girl. I was gonna say this chick, um, but um, yeah, big deals, big deals. I mean, she's uh, a lot of people spending a lot of money, um, hundreds of dollars. So it's good to see that um, it's expanding a little bit in uh, the collections. You also have Immaculate Collection uh, basketball coming out on the 18th and that you better have a crap load of money. The box is like $1,800, $1,900. The fact that they're still coming out with basketball cards is is crazy. Um, You're going to get three autos and two memorabilia cards, six cards per pack, one pack per box. Um, Yeah, they're expensive. Very, very expensive. You also have Immaculate Collection Collegiate Basketball for next year um, on the 20th. And that is going to be $1,595. And that's going to be on a Dutch Dutch auction um, for uh, Panini on their website, on their app, the Dutch Oven. Um, And you get five autos or relics and one base. Um, So you get six cards total on that. And pretty much that's it. Oh, no, I shouldn't say that. I guess on the 18th, the Immaculate Collection on the 18th, what did I say? Am I just repeating myself? I think I'm just repeating myself, people. Yeah, collegiate basketball. And then on the 20th, you have Leaf Ultimate Draft Baseball, which doesn't look that bad. And you get like five or six autographs out of it. So um, right now, they're like 119 bucks, and you get six autos. Not bad. I mean, it's it's a pretty good deal. The cards look nice as well. 
You have Panini Impeccable uh, Football. That's $779. Pretty, pretty, pretty expensive. Um, which is just... This whole thing is just crazy still. Um, oh, they're saying now it's the 25th, not the 20th. So we got that going on. Um, so that's about it. Um, baseball news, you have Heritage High Number uh, is only going to be in retail in Walmart and in Target. Um, so you got that. And that's pretty much it for the sports card world stuff that's coming out. Um, me uh, reiterating stuff time and time again. Um, had you listened to me and sold high like I didn't, and now you should be buying um, baseball cards, um, football players who are playing for teams that are not doing well. One guy I think in particular that you guys should be watching out for is the Sean Watson. His silver... Panini Prism rookie card silver, three three hundred forty PSA ten three forty five to four hundred bucks. Um, his hollows are going for two seventy five. Um, I think those are good deals relative to what's going on in the market. You have Sam Darnold that's going for like three hundred three fifteen for a silver. So he's not that much off. Yeah, the team isn't playing that well, um, but Deshaun Wat- Watson is an excellent player. Um, I, I think that's definitely something where you can continue to watch um, and see if it drops anymore, and I would be scooping them up if you have the money. Uh, basketball right now is starting to go up. Um, I would be selling Zions, Morants, things like that as you get closer to the NBA uh, start. Um, I think that's in December. Um, I don't know exactly when that is, but it's midpoint in December. That's when you want to let go of those cards. Um, if you're looking to get cards graded, you're now going to have to pay five day and get them quickly. So you're going to have to make sure that they are, um, worth it because to get them five day, it's got to be over a hundred bucks or something like that. It's got to be close to that. So if you, if you're saying you think it's a 10 and it's a five, $600 card, um, then do it. Um, anything else, you're just going to have to wait to 20 days, which is actually 40 or 50 days. It is what it is. Um, but that's. Right now, baseball is what you should be buying. Um, take a look at those cards. Um, Tops Flagship, Heritage Action, and also numbered cards. Um, you know, numbered to 50 to 25, as low as you can get. Um, I would really be focusing, focusing on that um, because I think that's where the market is starting to go. I mean, it's always been there, but um, I think that um, it's with all these base cards. Um, I, I still think basketball, they're going to sell crazy amounts. I think basketball is going to get hyped up again. I don't, you know, I don't think it'll get as high as it was. Um, it may, depending on two things, if we are locked down again and we are giving stimulus money. Um, if not... Um, if we're locked down with no stimulus money, then I think we got bigger problems. Um, might be saving that money for toilet paper. Um, but for the most part, I think those are two things to watch out for. But I think you will definitely get a bump. And like I've said before, the rich are getting richer. Um, crazy expensive uh, cards are going to continue to be crazy expensive. Um, especially those numbered cards. So... Um, Silvers, I'm putting in that category because they're a little bit harder to get than base cards. Um, But you're still paying $1,400, $1,500, $1,600 for a base Luca PSA 10, and there's, what, 14,000 of them? So um, it's still doing pretty well. So um, I don't see that ending anytime soon, but I do think in the future, long term, that um, the prices, I I just don't see them staying. Um, I just don't. Um, And, you know, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I don't know. Um, I've been seeing a ton of Pokemon cards, and uh, I, I know I should be getting into it just because I have n- I don't care about them. So I would be much easier to buy and sell them and flip them. It's just learning. Um, it's a lot of learning, um, and I just don't have the time for it. I don't even have time to do a podcast, let alone learn. Um, so there's that. Um, if you're looking to... Uh, Looking for extra income? Start selling on eBay, guys. Now's the time. Fourth quarter is coming around. People are going to be looking to buy um, gifts and things like that. 
um, look stuff around your house. People buy used crap for, I don't know why. I, I literally, I've, I've sold stuff, used stuff that people gave as gifts. Yes. So, um, looking for extra money. That's something that you should be doing. Um, going all in on eBay if you have the, if you have the chance. Um, but right now I would be looking at football and maybe waiting maybe another week or two where guys are just like, they're out of the playoffs. Guys like Deshaun Watson, um, uh, there's nobody on the Jets. <laughs> I'm trying to think of anyone on the Jets. That would be anything good. But uh, look for those teams that are not going not going to do it. They're not going to be in the playoffs. And I had a whole list. And I was all set last night. And then I fell asleep. Because I, t- I was a little tuckered out. A little tuckered out. And so um, – Cincinnati, Cleveland, no, they're in it. Houston, Jacksonville, Jacksonville, I don't see anyone. Uh, Denver, you have that quarterback. You know, you already know. Giants, Giants look like the best team in the NFC East. I don't know if they're going to make the playoffs or not, but they they look pretty good. Um, Minnesota, Detroit, maybe Matt Stafford, because um, he may be going someplace else next year. You never know. Uh, Carolina, Atlanta. Uh, I think Matt Ryan's time has passed. Um, San Francisco, maybe Kittle, maybe someone like that, uh, because I think there are other players that are um, making money. It's not just quarterbacks now. It is still dominated by quarterbacks, but there's running backs, wide receivers, not so much defensive guys, but they're, they're coming up. Um, they're becoming a little bit more expensive. So you should be able to to buy something. And it may not be big flips, but they, they're something. You know, you, you'll be able to make some bucks. I um, was watching a podcast. Uh, God almighty, what was this guy's name? Sasha. Um, I recommended it to uh, someone uh, from the group to watch. Um, really good. His vlogs are really good at a show. Again, this is the stuff that makes me feel bad and sad because um, because he's just got bank. He's got money. Kid, he's like 22, 21, 23. He's buying uh, 2000 No problem. Let me get that out for you. And, um, yeah, I'm, the, but the videos of him going to um, card shows were really good. He did one on Burbank um, sports cards. Where he toured the, um, I did an interview with them. You should check that out. I think my interview was better. better. It was better, but he was a, he had a visual. You were able to see how many cards he got. And I talked to the owner, the senior, and he was talking to mostly the um, the son. Um, but it gives you, you know, it's how to run a successful sports card business. Um, it doesn't really get into the nitty gritty, but it just basically tells you the thought process of how everything happens. Um, basically, what they were saying is their bread and butter is um, dollar, two dollar cards. Um, and they sell a ton of them, thousands of them per day. Um, when you have 43 million cards, um, I think there's two million cards unique, and everything else is just doubles, triples, and crap loads. Um, but that's what you need. Um, and I forget the printer. God Almighty, it was a Fujitsu, I think, printer. They didn't talk about it. I talked about it in my podcast and in my uh, interview with them, and um, where they just scanned a ton of cards and it scanned it really quickly, uh, and it didn't damage them. So um, that may be something that you are looking to do, especially with eBay and the postal service. Um, there was some rumors about something came out, um, basically saying that there's going to be a 75 cent um, tracking shipping you know, uh, option. And I think that's going to happen next year. So you'll be able to ship for 75 cents cards. I think it was up to three cards, uh, nothing in graded. It has to be less than three ounces. And that is awesome for the hobby. Um, and I think that's awesome for something like that, for where you can sell your common cards. And for 75 cents, you get tracking. So you're not going to be worried about getting screwed. Um, and it's a damn good deal. It is. It's a damn good deal. It's finally something that the, that makes sense. So take a look at that um, when that comes out. 
Um, I just got signed on for managed payments on eBay, and that's basically they're taking PayPal out of the mix. Money goes to a bank account. Um, they take the fee out uh, when you sell something, so you don't have this bill at the end of the month. Um, you get lower fees, and um, hopefully um, I haven't sold anything yet, so I haven't seen it firsthand, but a lot of people like it that have switched, so hopefully that works out for me. Um, I was on Twitter, and they now have stories. A bunch of stories. So everybody's putting stories like on Instagram. Now Twitter has that. Um, hopefully they don't fact check me. Heaven forbid. That would be bad if they fact check me. Fake news. This guy doesn't know crap about cards. Fake news. <laughs> you see stories of like fact checked. This guy's a dumb piece of crap. But um, yeah, I, I think that's uh, I think that's going to help uh, people looking to sell cards on Twitter. Um I know I started looking at people, you know, what they're talking about. So, um, yeah, I think it's a fun time in the hobby right now. It's a little slow, but I think it's going to pick up big time once basketball gets going. Um, and you get the NFL playoffs. Again, with basketball, most of the guys that are going to be selling are the younger guys, the rook, the one the first year, second year guys. Um, as the season goes on, those veterans are going to go. We've talked about this before. Just reiterating. Um, one thing, a ton of trades. Chris Harden. Uh, Chris Harden. <laughs> Chris Harden. It's, it's, um, it's, yeah. They combined these guys, Chris Harden, Chris Paul. He was traded, which I am shocked that the, th- and the Thunder got uh, Aubrey Jr., who I, I'm a, de- I'm a big fan of. I think I may buy a couple of his cards. I think that's a good deal. Um, and Chris Paul goes to the Suns. So now the Suns look like a really good team. A lot of their guys that they have on that team, their cards are going to go up. Right now they're going to go up. Um, so you can either jump on the bandwagon now and then ride that wave to um, the beginning of the year. Um, I don't suggest you getting those cards graded. Um, I would suggest you buying the cards now, today, tomorrow, and then wait maybe eight on. Do I miss things right? I don't know. I, I, half the time, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. But those guys, get them. Buy them, ride this wave, and then sell them right before the season. Or maybe if they start doing well, I would sell them before the season. Get that bank, bro. But um, you got that. Drew Holiday, Bog- Bogdanovich who I don't know as much. I know he's on the Kings, but that I, I know of him, but I don't know anything about him. Um, they go, they're traded to the Bucks, So the Bucks are trying to make a play for uh, Giannis to stay because uh, he, he, he grinned when they said he might, you know, would you want to play in Miami? So they all got all, they got all dejected. Um, Rockets uh, trading for Ariza again. How many times is he going to play for the team? And Harden rejects a $50 million a year. It was two years for 50 mil, over 50 mil. He said, no thanks, and he wants to play for the Nets. I have no idea how they would work that out. The Rockets are saying they need, hey, we need Kyrie or Durant. Me, I would give Kyrie an RB because you know he's going to get hurt. I would trade him in two seconds. Okay, here, take him. He might get hurt going on the plane over there. But um, I think you're going to see more trades, more stuff happening. Don't worry. The Knicks will do absolutely nothing. They won't get Russell Westbrook. Not that I want him. Not because I think he's bad. It's just uh, we're looking to go through the draft. And we'll continue to play poorly. And we'll get screwed in the draft lottery. And we'll instead of getting the one or two, we'll get the seventh and eighth pick again next year. Um, I do like Tom Thibodeau, so I, I'm, I'm pumped about that. And hopefully he helps out Mitchell Robinson and R.J. Barrett. Um, that's the only thing I have. That's all I got. That's all I have for my Knicks. Um, Yankees baseball hot stove really hasn't heated up yet. Um, but I'm sure it will. I don't think you're going to get anything too crazy because everybody lost a ton of money. Um, the only team that I think is really going to be doing something is the Mets because they got now they got some bank, now they got some money. Uh, so the Mets, I think, will do some damage. I, I really do. Um, now, will it be the right damage? Who knows? It could be like Steinbrenner back in the 80s where he just bought everyone and we just didn't win anyway. So we'll see if they buy smart. 
Um, I know Theo Epstein, he's gone. He left. He said, all right, here's a championship for um, the Cubs. Here's a championship for the Red Sox. Will he come to the Mets? Who knows? I don't think so, but who knows? Um, but we will. We shall see. And, uh, guys, that's all I got right now. SV8CardCollectors.com. Head over there. I am going to try to write an article. I've been saying it. I've been saying it, but I, I need to start writing some articles. I want to get that website going uh, much better. Head over to Facebook group. I, I need to be a little bit more active. So, guys, uh, ask questions um, and say, hey, Dave. WTF. All right, guys, and you know what to do. Buy some cards and go broke. Later.